tonight the pups and I are going to do a little Halloween and Harvest home tour. I've got Ranger here. He is the great pumpkin. McKelty is a little hippopotamus. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see. <laughs> How cute is that? And Rosie, who's laid down, sit. Good girl. She is a little bumblebee. Very cute. Yeah, she's done with this. I've been making them take pictures. So anyways, aren't they cute little hosts? They're going to help me show all around the house and show you the way we decorated for Halloween this year. So we're going to get started and hop right in. So I'm going to start in the corner back here and show you all the first thing that I did was just a little vignette. As you can see, this is a real pumpkin, by the way. So this is in the corner of my home. That's my family picture shelf. So... That is the first spot. McKelsey, where are we going to next? Where do you want to go next? What do you want to show them? So the balloons are actually from a Halloween party I had last Saturday. So I thought I'd use them in the pictures I took with the dogs since they're already out. This is the fireplace area. Ranger's going to be our little tour guide. And yeah, these are just some of the things that I set out. So give you a better angle and ranger is the most adorable little pumpkin this year are you the great pumpkin yeah all right this is the middle of the fireplace these leaves are actually from the dollar store i wasn't really happy with the way that this turned out i was going to get some more garland but actually the store sold out so i didn't get a chance to revamp it but it's still pretty cute and then up top here let's see if i step back you can kind of see the top of the fireplace a little bit better. It's focused. Yeah, so I've got the Halloween movies on the left. And then just some things on the mantel. The candles that I'm burning right now are the leaves candles from Bath and Body Works. They're my absolute favorite for fall. And I'll show you two of my very favorite decorations this year. These little owls. These are from Hobby Lobby and they are so stinking cute. Still doing up close. That is the leaves candle from Bath and Body Works. It has burned incredibly well. I actually have several of these in the holders also from Bath and Body Works. See? So there's the other one. And these little acorns are also from Bath and Body Works. You can put little mini candles in them, which I don't have burning right now. And then in the corner I have, it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, Hocus Pocus, and the Corpse Bride. So those are my favorite little Halloween movies. Yeah, that's the cornucopia up there, and these are just a few more of the decorations I always put out every year. Over here, I have, this is not how I typically have this decorated, but this year we may do. So, I have some real little gourds in here. So, these are real, and then I just put some Christmas garland in with them. Yeah, okay. And then over here, you want to help, Ranger? Yeah, you gonna help everybody? Over here on the side table, I have a little snow globe that says Boo. I think I got it from the dollar store several years ago. I think he's so cute. What do you think? Do y'all like the snow globe? Yes! Oh my goodness. And if you shake it, he does have some purple glitter to it, so really cute. Then I'll have another leaves candle over here. And then I also have a little owl burner. This is a room oil burner, room fragrance stuff. And this is also in the same scent and leaves. So if you couldn't tell, that is my very, very favorite from that company. And then we will make our way into the kitchen. I'm actually going to turn the light out so you get the full effect. So in the kitchen, in the back of the kitchen, I have two candles going. These are from Walmart. These are the mold cider candles. If you're going to get any from Walmart, these are terrific. They're three wicked. They're extremely strong. And this is my favorite fragrance from there. And I also have a Candles by Victoria. This is the Maple Butter Pumpkin Frap. It smells amazing. I'm saving this one for Thanksgiving, so that's why it's not burning. But it's honestly a cute decoration in its own right. There's that one. 
It's just super, super cute. And these are real wax pumpkins. So when you burn her decorative candles, you need to put a little saucer under them because initially the wax will drip over. Very cute, though. Okay. And over here, I've got some little candle holders, little tea light holders. The two black owls are from the dollar section in Target. The orange owl is actually from a store chain called Cracker Barrel. It's an old country store. They have really cute little decorations and a restaurant. The candle going behind it is a create a scent glitter candle, and this is from Candles by Victoria. I'll do a separate review on this one. This is a combination of apple butter and pumpkin buttercream, I do believe, and it smells fantastic. And then I just left my cookbook out because, honestly, she's got sunflowers on it, and I thought it fit in pretty well. And I have a little owl sitting on here. And if you haven't checked out the Pioneer Woman's cookbook, she is incredible. I highly recommend this. This one was a Christmas gift last year, and I love it. Okay. And over here, I've just got a few autumnal themed things for Halloween and fall. So I've got some little leaves on the wall and a fall decoration. I think these were also from Hobby Lobby. I get everything from there. The little owl timer is from a store called Kirkland's. And the spoon rest, which I collect spoon rest, this is from TJ Maxx. I thought it was really, really cute. Then over here, I just have a little container with things that I've used over the weekend when I had my party to decorate Halloween cookies with. So I've just put everything in here. This was from Goodwill. I was super excited about that. And then I just have a few things over here. I have a little trick-or-treat sign and a little pumpkin candy jar. And then I just added a few little leaves from the dollar store to this container. So, and there's our napkins we used from Saturday. I thought they were pretty cute. And it wouldn't be Halloween. I did a video on these. It wouldn't really be Halloween without some pumpkin seeds. These are amazing. These are the caramelized pumpkin seeds I made a video on. I will link that below. Definitely go check them out. I also did a blog post on their spicy equivalent, which are also very tasty. So, since it is a Halloween home tour, I thought I'd show those in there. So, once again, that was the kitchen. Okay. Are y'all going to help? Let's show them the rest of the house. Come on. <laughs> Ranger's so excited. Okay, this is the other side of the countertop in the kitchen. I think this is so cute. This little plate is from Walmart. Absolutely adorable. And then I have this little decorative candle holder from Yankee. I think it's so, so cute. It says clay dead. And then I believe this one's from Walmart. I've had this one for a while, though. I'm not sure. And then this is from Target. It says Witch's Brew. And I have a little crow in the back, which I think I'm going to leave out for Thanksgiving. I'll probably redecorate part of this. And the little feature of this area, it is so cute. This is a little globe from Walmart, and it says Scary. And they had different ones. I thought this one was the most cute out of them. And there's a little button on the back. I'll just do it for a second so you can hear it. But it screams. So, a little convincing. So I usually leave the scream part off. But I thought it was adorable. It has little bats flying around in it. It's just absolutely cute for Halloween. And also in the back corner, I forgot to show this, is my little pumpkin from Walmart. He is so cute. And I have a bat sign that says beware by him. And on the top is where I store the dog treats. But I actually forgot to turn him out the other night and the battery ran out. So he is not glowing anymore, unfortunately. And then on the top, I have some little pumpkins and gourds up there. That's what the top part looks like. And then I just have a picture board. And I forgot to show this too. It's a little sign. I think I've had this for two years maybe. It just says treats this way. So I thought this was cute to put in the kitchen. There's actually a yard sign, but since I don't have a yard area appropriate for it, I went ahead and took that off the stick and put it on the fridge instead with some magnets. Over here, let's see, we have a McKelty. Yeah, say hi. And let's see, this is what I was going to show.